Hello beauty queens and yes I'm back with another video. This video will be on this look that you see here. I um, did a look using all MAC Cosmetics products. Um, I've just been kind of going over uh, the videos that are already on my channel and I've been going through kind of trying to see which videos you guys um, are viewing the most of just so I can go and kind of update those videos. So yeah, um, so this is the first look that I'm doing um, and it is like I said a full MAC video and I actually found some products in here that I haven't used in a long time and you guys know that it may sound so cliche but MAC is one of those brands that you can definitely use the whole line and be okay with it. So, um, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be doing a voiceover um, because I it's kind of late and actually 1 30 in the morning and it's the day before Labor Day and I have Labor Day off so I wanted to get up and film. Um, I've been meaning to film all weekend but you know how it goes sometimes but this is the full look here. I use spiked, I use eyeshadows, everything was from MAC. The only thing that is not from MAC is the lashes, which is from Kiss Lashes and the mask. I'm sorry, the um the liner, the liquid liner is from Wet and Wild. So I did those two things off camera, but the rest of the face, as you can see here, is from MAC Cosmetics. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you guys in some upcoming videos. So enjoy. Big kisses. Mm. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to start off with is Max Spike Pencil. And this is like a holy grail product for me. This is the best, I think, um, brow pencil that you can find and it matches the color of my eyebrows perfectly so yeah this is definitely a holy grail product for me i also like the anastasia ones but of course you know this video is all about matte cosmetics so we're going to start off with matte spike pencil and then also usually i would clean up my brows if i was to use a matte product would be the studio uh fix uh, concealer it's in the pot but i actually went in with a uh like a oldie but it's a goodie the MAC Pro Longwear concealer and I'm going to be using the color NC42 and as you can see this color and I use just the highlight with as well but you're going to notice in the video with my foundation and also the concealer I'm a little bit on the tanner side so these are definitely more so my winter shade so yeah so after I use that concealer to clean up my brows I'm going to also go back on top of that with my lid to get prepped for the eyeshadows we're about to get ready to use. So first we're gonna go into saddle and you're gonna you're gonna notice that I'm gonna have a lot of throwback matte eyeshadows that everybody uses. So of course we're gonna start off with uh, saddle and this is gonna be our transition color. Next we're gonna go in with brown strip and we're gonna start off like with the outer part of the eye and the feet but then we're gonna work our way in. So just kind of blend it out really nicely. So we're just gonna kind of, I'm gonna work with that color real slow. It actually took me forever to do my eye makeup and it was because I wanted it to look seamless. And of course go back with our um, blending color. Next we're gonna use the color Rule. And we're just gonna use that just to kind of put in our transition to add a little orange, a peak of orange right there as you can see. Next, we're gonna go in with Stars and Rockets. This color is gonna go on our lid. I use some Fix Plus so it can be a little bit more vibrant. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna go in and put that um, on our lid. It's gonna be on majority of our lid. And of course, on the outer V, we're gonna go back in with brown strip. Later on, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, Embark in our um, outer V just to kind of darken that up a little bit. And of course, I'm gonna go back in with Stars and Rocket and just kind of blend that out with the uh, brown strip just so it won't look so just harsh like a harsh line so yeah I'll be going back and forth with blending different things in so it took me forever like I said to do my eyes next we're gonna go with the MAC prep and prime use that to prime with I also already moisturized so you did not see me put on moisturizer because it was not a MAC product 
Next, after that, we're gonna use our Studio Fix Fluid. This is a Holy Grail, Holy Grail as well. All of these products I noticed are like oldies but goodies. Like, these are the products that I started my channel out with. These are the products that I started off wearing makeup with, especially higher end. So I found some hidden gems that I haven't used in a long time just by doing this video. So again, you guys can see that this shade is a little bit off and that's because I'm a little bit more tanner in the summertime, but it's gonna all pull together at the end. And then we're gonna go back in with that Pro Long Concealer from, um, from MAC, of course. But it's a liquid concealer and it is definitely full coverage. This concealer is full, full, full coverage, okay? And of course, we're gonna put that in all the areas that we usually highlight in. Under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, forehead, um, cupid's bow, chin. And then I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender after I place it where I want it to go and just kind of blend it out. But I noticed yesterday, or yeah, yesterday when I was doing the makeup video or whatever, that this concealer is definitely full, full, full coverage and it's a bit on the, it's a bit on the matte side. So if you don't like matte, I mean like matte full coverage, this wouldn't be the concealer for you, but if you like that look, this is definitely something you need to be picking up, okay? So as you can see, even with me blending it out, you still have that coverage here. This is definitely like a Holy Grail product as well. I see why we used to love it so much back in the day when it all, here I am saying back in the day. It has been a while since I've been on YouTube. Now I don't have a MAC setting powder, but so I'm just going to use my face powder over my um, entire face, which is the Studio Fix uh, Foundation Powder in CC. Also gonna go back in with our foundation brush and just kind of blend out the edges. I have to do this up because I do not like, like the way it looks once you blend out everything. You have all these lines of demarcation. So I just like to kind of go in and just blend out, of course. And then after I blend out really, really good, I'm gonna go in with my foundation powder that I was telling you guys about. And it's in the color C6. Um, I really like this color, yellow tone powder. Very, very, very yellow, looks like from the pan. It's not that yellow in person. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with this. I really prefer a loose setting uh, powder, but I noticed this looks more skin-like once everything pulls together. Next, I'm gonna go in, this is actually a blush, some blush I'm using for my um, bronzer contour. This is in the color uh, Sweetest Cocoa, and I like this. Like, I'm about to start back using this, and I'm just gonna take my real technique brush here and just kind of blend, 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 blend. Y'all, I was doing this video at like 1, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was just taking my time and just, I just want to really film because I want to get back into filming. And I feel like night time, maybe like a Friday night, Saturday night, that's gonna be my thing because I really, it was peaceful in the house and I could take my time and actually do my makeup how I wanted to and I wasn't in a rush. And um, I really feel like that had a lot to do with why it turned out so good. Like a lot of people always ask like, how do you learn how to do makeup? I feel like it's just trial and error and actually having the time to actually take your time and not rush to do something. So that's a little tip. I hope it helps someone. Next, we're gonna go in with the blush, and I created this palette as well as those eyeshadows that you guys seen. I just created those a, a palette of blushes here, and I'm gonna be using the color Burnt Pepper, and we're gonna use that, and I absolutely use way too much, so you're gonna see me go back in and blend that out. So that lets you know you don't need but a dab of this for the blush, and I just went overboard with it. I've been really, really, really excited about starting back doing videos again. I really want to get consistent with it. Not only do I want to just grow my channel, but I also want to be consistent and just, you know, I really enjoy doing YouTube videos. 
and this here is global glow this is the highlighter we're going to be using today and it is popping i love 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 this and you can see i didn't even put a dent in that it's crazy how we always so quick to go and buy the new this this and that and it's like we have so much makeup like i barely even probably used this highlighter This is, of course, a Holy Grail product. I use this in almost every video, every time I do my makeup. I absolutely love the Fix Plus. And that's that. Last, we're going to line our lip with cork. And we're going to use Sis um, on our lips. I did, forget, I did forget to do an outro, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, be sure to thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you like videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Big kisses. Mwah. See you guys later. Like we always do with this time. I go for mine. I guess to shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky.